Uh, hi internet, so Bully's out, I've sent me this mysterious magical mystery box. Uh, oh, fragile. Um, <laughs> they sent me this box, I think it's got some of the stuff for their workshops for kids in it, so let's have a look at what's inside and just, yeah, see what's inside. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this thing. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so no, this is also one of the benefits of being a youth ambassador. You get like cool stuff. Um, hi Ed, here are the two workshop kits for you. Good luck, Emma. Thank you, Emma. And let's have a look at what there is. Ah, so this is Jar of Confidence. Oh, it's fragile. There's a bit of glass in there. Thank God I didn't break it. Oh, this is oh stickers. I know it's so childish. I just love stickers. Like, can't go wrong with some stickers. And then we have, what's this? Hand of Courage. I think I'll do this one first. So it comes with this lovely purple bag. Oh, look how cute that is. It's a little hand. Oh, darling, you can't see it because of the lighting. There we go. <gasps> Paint. Okay, I'm so doing this. I'm so embracing my inner child. Yes, I'm 19 years old. I'm an adult. Right, so how do I do this? Let's see. Like, honestly, I'm 19 and I'm like, this is so much fun. I'm being such a child, but this would be something really cool to do with kids. Let's have a look at this. Um, what's his hand of courage? The hand of courage is a reminder of how amazing and strong you really are. Oh, thanks, Leaflet. This creative activity is designed to help you use your imagination and paint your own design of your hand of courage and make it personal to you. You can choose your favourite colours, add your name or pet's name. Oh, yes. Chani. Do you want to be on my hand of confidence? Yes, I know it's a camera. Sniff, sniff. Don't mind me, I'm just going to pet Charlie for like five hours now. Um, favorite football team, different shapes, flowers, any design you want. So we paint on the top part of the hand, not the bottom. You can even turn it into a fridge magnet if you want to. When someone has been bullied or they feel sad and lonely, they may not feel confident enough to tell someone about what is happening and how it makes them feel. Everyone has a part to play in stopping bullying and unkind behaviour. If you see it happening to someone else, offer them support and remember it is important to tell someone. By doing nothing, you're sending a message to the bully that their behaviour is acceptable, and it isn't. The Hand of Courage will act as a reminder that being unkind and bullying behaviour is wrong, act as a lucky charm and boost your courage and confidence, give you strength to tell someone if you're feeling sad about something, to have good friends, you must be a good friend. Oh my god, so true. Like, people just expect, like, friendship to come to them. And obviously everyone deserves a good friend. But unless it's a toxic friendship, and that's a separate subject, which I can make a video on if people want, just comment on the community page. Um, you get out of a friendship what you put in. And you, it's, it, it's a give and take, and that's just so important, I think. Choose friends who are kind, share, and who will listen to you. Be kind, share, and listen to them too. Words of truth! If your friends seem sad, try and help them. And if you know someone who's being bullied, tell an adult straight away. Cool. So now the fun part, I'm gonna be like, yay. So, oh, I've got a little paintbrush and everything. I'm an adult. Yeah, I'm like totally an adult. I'm like the most adulty adult to ever adult. Okay, woo, I did it. Right, now let's try and not get paint on the sofa. So now let's just look at jar of confidence. My jar of confidence, my, oh, I've got two for some reason. Not gonna complain, it's got stickery stickers. Are you ever just like stick, stick, sticker, stickery stuck, stuck? Oh, cute. Okay, let's actually have a look at what this is. Everything's going everywhere. Uh, what is the purpose of the confidence jar? The confidence jar is a simple glass jar designed to recognise all the little moments of excellence that happen along the way. Reminders of all the things you have accomplished. 
Confidence jars are a must for people. Oh, I'm stuffed then. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I think that, like, confidence is a really, really difficult thing. Like, a few years ago, someone was like, you're gonna make a vlog. I'd be like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> but now I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make an idiot of myself on camera. And if people are mean to me, I don't care. So, yeah, like, um, looking for a way to collect memories and accomplishments, looking for a way to count your blessings oh it's a must for, for people who are doing this looking for a way to boost their confidence and stuff ah got got there eventually so first you decorate your jar with stickers oh yes write some positive notes or use the ones we've provided oh you can ask your family and friends to write something for you as well that is so cute charlie are you gonna write something for me oh yeah you have pause Uh, and fill the jar. The overall purpose of the jar is to boost your confidence and help you feel better about yourself. You can keep adding to the jar every time you have a special memory or accomplishment, write it down and pop it in the jar. If ever you feel a bit low or are having a bad day, tip out all the messages and read them to remind yourself how amazing you are. Oh, that's so cute! I love this so much. Your confidence jar is individual. It's a collection of things you've accomplished or feel. Things that no one can take away from you. That's adorable! So yeah, I think that this would be a really good activity to do with kids because often kids are told put others before yourself but really everyone's equal and yeah, I'm going to put a smiley face on this because everyone is equal and you have to do self-care as well. Like looking out for other people is great but you also have to be like really kind to yourself otherwise, so cute, otherwise it's you kind of get the impression of yourself that you're not worth it and then you'll start expecting that from other people if you don't treat yourself well then you might start thinking that it's okay for other people not, not to treat you well i think this is a really good activity for kids to be like actually it's okay to, to do self-care it's like okay to have all this like stuff and to worry and to want people to help you it's okay to ask for help I'm just putting little aliens on now because everybody loves aliens. Okay, sorry, sorry. L little X Files reference for you all there. Okay, I I'm gonna stop putting stickers on. I'm I need to move on. This video is getting way too long. Let's have a look at these. Oh, I love these. I am stronger than those who try to hurt me. So these are the bits of paper I've put in my jar of confidence. I did one myself and I'm quite pleased with it. It has a little smiley face sticker on it. I think all of these are really cute and just a really good activity to do with kids. So I recommend that you hop onto the Blizz Out website and you could order yourself a few if you run a youth group or something. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a nice day. Bye!